hi guys welcome back to my channel I am so happy to have you guys back in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can create this DIY luxurious dramatic crystal floor ring center piece you do not want to miss out please stay tuned and watch how I assemble this beautiful masterpiece also please don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to thumbs up this video comment your thoughts below and share this video with a friend also we are giving away two free cricket machine to two of our contestants if you want to be a part of our giveaway for a chance to win after this video go to the elegantcreators.com slash cricket giveaway to apply let us know in the comment section if you have applied i'm going to take my pcv screw caps i'm gonna have as you can see on the pcv screw caps you're gonna see like there's an opening right here so what i do is whatever wherever the opening is i put them facing each other kind of like in a circle motion right at the center in the middle of my plaque you see right here my wooden plaque so you want to have it laid out on your plaque like this in the center so you just have to kind of follow your judgment on knowing where exactly the center is or you could use your ruler to measure it i say leave it about an inch apart you don't want to leave them too close together you want to have it lay out exactly as you see it here so what i'm going to go ahead and do i'm going to take my nail and my screw i'm going to go ahead and screw my nail into the plaque so my screw caps can stay sturdy in place Now that I have all my PCB screw cap in place, I'm gonna go ahead and take my wooden dowels and screw them in place like this. Now you wanna make sure whatever screw cap that you purchase is the exact fit for the wooden dowel. So let's say if your screw cap, the opening is, a, is one inch in diameter, you wanna make sure whatever wooden dowel that you get is about the same size because you want it to be the perfect fit. take your pool noodle you're gonna take a scissors and you're going to cut it like this you're gonna cut about four pieces like this so it can fit perfectly around your PCV screw caps so it's gonna look something like this now to keep it in place you can take this cable tie, which is about 11 inches long. You're gonna take it, tie it around it so you can secure it into place. before you add your wooden sticks to make it easier for you. Add my cable ties to secure it into place before I add the wooden dowels. Next thing I'm going to take my disc. I had already went ahead and kind of mark down where each of my wooden dowel is going to go through and so I'm just gonna carve out these small little circles so that I'm able to slide it through my wooden dowel for the middle section of my centerpiece don't worry about that hole in the 
the center. That was from a previous project that I did where I had created a hole in the center. But for this project, for your disc, you do not need to create a hole in the center of your disc. So just focus on creating the holes in the center of your plaque of where your wooden dowel are going to be placed. Okay, so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna take my wooden dowel. I'm gonna go ahead and put it through the hole that I've created. Okay, now guys, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and use my hot glue gun and make sure I lock in my foam in place. Right now, I must say it's pretty sturdy, but of course, when you're going to go ahead and add your flowers, you want to make sure that it stays in place. So I'm just going to use my hot glue gun. In between where my stick meets the hole. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Craylon. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Craylon Color Master spray paint, gold spray paint, to spray paint all of my centerpiece from top to bottom. Even my foam, I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint all of it together. So you can choose to use whatever color spray paint you would like to use to spray paint your centerpiece. So that's completely your option, but this is the color that I will be using for my piece today. So I can't wait to see how it turns out. Now that my centerpiece is freshly painted, I let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour. And I put about three to four coats because I wanted to make sure that beautiful metallic gold shows. And I really love how it turned out. So now we're gonna go ahead and start with the flower arrangement in the center of our centerpiece. every opening I'm gonna go ahead and add three crystals this is optional you could choose to add it if you want or if you don't want crystals you do not have to add it I'm just going to use my hot glue gun to glue them to the top part right here make that 26 because I did add one crystal in the center with a nice crystal glass ball and I think it turned out absolutely beautiful comment below and let me know what you guys think of the outcome 
The beauty about this centerpiece is it's so durable. The way it was constructed is super strong. It will not fall apart and it will definitely be a statement piece. It's different, it's unique. You can use whatever color flowers or whatever type of flowers you would like to use. I love the fullness of the flower in the center, the fullness at the bottom of the flower at the bottom of it. Comment below if you was to create this, what type of flowers would you have used? Is the flower head already constructed and ready to go? I just took this flower tray. The ball is a white foam ball, about 10 inches in diameter about 200 roses to create this full look and then I just put it on the top